Hey y'all, how about that KTW awards tag and those answers I owe y'all though? A while back, like early in this month, I was supposed to do two things and I, I failed at both, but I'm making up for it now. The first thing was to respond to the KTW Awards tag from my friends at K-Pop This Way. They are a great podcast. You need to check them out. And the second thing was I was supposed to have a Maguala's chat on the 12th of this month. But I was sick then and I really didn't want to have to, you know, show myself out of my best character. So... I'll make up for it now by doing the questions from the awards tag, as well as answering some of the ones that were sent to me anonymously or through direct messages on social media. So here we go. First question was best debut of 2014, got seven. I don't even know why I would challenge that. There are other groups that did very well and had awesome debuts last year, but come on now, those are my babies. Why, why would I even remotely for what? Best comeback of the year. But I'm giving the best comeback of last year to Super Junior. Mama Sita really, really was a good album. Best collaboration of the year. Hands down for me, Wonder Girls UN and 15AM when they did G-Dragons, uh, that X. It was the bomb. It was on Mnet. And I mean, they shut it down. If you have not watched it, you have to see it. It was phenomenal. Boy group of 2014, I have to give it to Bangtan. BTS boys really came through and showed that they are going to be a hip hop force to reckon with. I'm very proud of them. Girl group of the year? I believe I'll have to give it to my girls 21. We waited a long time for them to come back with an album and it was a very strong album. I'm very proud of it. Solo artist of 2014? Ugh. Wow. Who is the, because, okay, wait, like, of the whole year? go. Fine. Solo artist of the year and song of the year belong to the same person, Taeyang. Because eyes, nose, lips drove me up a wall, but everybody and their mama was listening to it. And you would be a lie to say the song didn't really personify whatever relationship emotions you can experience. <sighs> There, two birds, one stone. Next question. Album of the year? Oh, Shoebox, Epic High. It is awesome. It is, it is everything on a, on a, on a, I, I, uh, I, see, I'm stuttering. <laughs> okay, let's get into these questions because people have been waiting forever for a response. I'm so late. This is so tragic. Okay. Uh, we got a message from Bree Bree M. She said, multifaceted ACG. What is an unpopular K-pop opinion that you have? An unpopular opinion that I have is that some cultural appropriation is okay. Yes, I know. Y'all are going to shut me down and leave all kind of messages at the bottom. But let me explain myself. And I'm not going to get into thorough detail about this because it'll take a very long time. It is extremely hard to not borrow or be influenced by other cultures. It's just not feasible. You could say me sitting here in my sweatpants with a hoodie and a ball cap on is urban American black culture, but really the ball cap wasn't originated by us and the way that I'm wearing my clothes, anybody could wear it. I am not in any way saying things such as putting on chola makeup or, uh, appropriating cultures is something that is always acceptable it's it's not but there are things that can be learned from it so when these k-pop idols not if when these k-pop idols and their management and creative groups or whatnot uh allow these things to happen i believe it's a learning opportunity for them to be able to find a way to fuse their culture with the music that they want to exemplify. You can give credit where credit is due without being disrespectful. It's a very fine line, but I think the best way to learn about it is to get as close to it as you can. Learn what's wrong, correct yourself, move forward. So that's my unpopular opinion. 
My little nugget, Eileen, she asked me, how was it being a panelist for Toronto K-Pop Con in 2015? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I'll be a panelist at Toronto K-Pop Con. And I'll also be celebrating my birthday during that time. So if you happen to be one of my Magualas in Canada or the Midwest who can make it to Toronto, you should definitely come and kick it with me and check out the experience. But um, it's pretty cool. Uh, this will be the second big convention that I've been a panelist on. Uh, the difference this time is I'm just a panelist. I was a special guest and a moderator at KCON last year, and I'm very hopeful that they'll invite me back for 2015. Who knows? I might even be on the panel for Miami. Never know. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Taina S and D, and I probably said it wrong. It's Taina. Taina. Never mind. <laughs> she asked, T O P or Jackson? What? Jesus? What? What? Okay, here's the thing. See, look, look, let me clarify. Jackson is uh, either nine or ten years younger than me. So that's a little icky emotionally for me. But I adore him. I call him Pooh. I call him a whole bunch of other names too. So I look at him as my precious little nugget. And I'm his Nuna who cares a lot. I would love to cook for him, go get some custom ball caps, and like watch funny stuff on TV. Top! Top is an intimidating, beautiful man. And he's my ultimate bias. And I can't get myself together around him. So, I don't want to choose, and I'm not going to. Top came first, because Big Bang was the first group I was exposed to. But, Jackson slayed me during pre-debut on Win TV. So, I just, I can't, I can't pick between the two. I, I really want... I, Lord. Top just scares me half to death. He's too beautiful. I would have to always like wake up and put on all my makeup from the Tyra Banks line like all the time. I would not be able to half-ass it at all. <laughs> God, he's beautiful. Next question. Caitlin Mager asked me, which is better, Jack Bam or V Cook? Ugh. I like Jack Bam. I do like V Cook and all. I mean, ugh, why do y'all do this to me? I really do love Jack Bam quite a bit. Um, I mean, to the point where I wrote The Happy Marriage of Jack Bam, which I will gladly read to you right now. The Happy Marriage of Jack Bam. Bam Bam sitting on Jackson's lap. Jack Bam couples clothes because who can top that? V Cook don't have that. Bam Bam congratulating his wife on his SBS win before the rest of the group and the official SNS accounts did it. Jackson doing his husband's rap from the Stop Stop It performance on the National Awards show. Bam Bam holding Jackson's picture for group photos when his wife is on separate schedules. Jack Bam tagging one another on Instagram with messages of missing and loving one another. It gets no better than that, okay? That ship is real. That ship is all kinds of over every ocean. Nani D asked me, if you could stop time for 48 hours, what would you do? Where would you go and why? Um, if I could stop time for 48 hours, I would go to heaven and I would go visit my moms. Uh, my mom and my mother-in-law passed away uh, within four years of one another and they were both young and I loved them more than words could ever say. They were phenomenal women. They were just amazing women. And I miss them dearly. So if I could get 48 hours with them just to have my, my mom hug me again or to have my mother-in-law bake oatmeal cookies with me <laughs> just once again, I would definitely give up everything for that. And then this was an anonymous question from Tumblr. Name three epic things that have happened to you. <laughs> just three? <sighs> That's hard. And that's not to sound conceited. It's just God is blessing me with so many amazing things all at once. I don't even know where to pick. I'll start with the first thing. Today, Kazuke, yes, the group, followed me on Instagram and their manager. And they let me know that they are waiting for my reaction to their new video that just came out. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the, oh my gosh, what's another thing that's epic? Oh. Being on the panel at KCON and meeting my fans, just, oh man, 
The Mac Wallas, like y'all trying to make me cry with these questions. The Mac Wallas, I say it all the time in videos and I, I'm not like trying to pull on y'all heartstrings or anything like that, but do y'all understand how phenomenal you all are? The things that y'all tag me in and the stuff that you share with me and I just, oh. I love y'all so much. I wish nothing but happiness for y'all. So that's epic to know that you exist and that you appreciate what I do because I just, I genuinely do. All a gajillion of y'all, however many the number is, I just, I adore y'all. <laughs> y'all are epic to me. Ooh, the Kim Jong Cook and Ha Ha. That was like, that was the bee's knees last year. To close my year with that, Ooh, this hand is still blessed in the name of Jesus. Woo! So those are the things I wanted to share with y'all. <laughs> I mean, I hope I answered the questions as best as possible and that I didn't bore you. And yeah, I'm gonna go do my hair because I got some vlogging to do. Do you watch my vlog? Have you gone to the Mac G Vlog channel? Check it out, it's some random stuff on there. And also, please, 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 because we want to put K-pop vloggers on the map, go to shortyawards.com and nominate me or any of the other K-pop vloggers that you like for Holly U Vlogger or YouTube Comedian. In fact, just nominate us for both. We really appreciate y'all. And I hope you appreciate what I just did with these questions and this tag. All right. I gotta get to pre-recording because I'm behind on MV reactions, especially ladies of K-pop. It's just neglected. So I gotta get y'all queued up. Bye, y'all.